Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be giving you helpful advice on my salmon setup and what I use on the river to catch salmon. So I'm going to start off here by showing you all the bits and pieces I use when I'm salmon fishing. Okay, so we're just going to fly through it here to check this first, okay? So first we have the guy net. Then of course, switch rod. Your license. Uh, tippet material, 15 pound, can be fluorocarbon or mono, doesn't really matter. Uh, eye protection, forceps, um, flies of course, and a selection of sinking tips in here. Here we have the Harley Marquee number two salmon reel. So I'm just going to talk to you there first about the landing net that I use for salmon fishing. This is a guy net, it has a strap that goes over your shoulder and it's really good, uh, doesn't get in the way, you can sling it over your shoulder and carry it around. Now when I originally got this net okay, it had a knotting, a knotted uh, mesh netting. So what I decided to do was get rid of that because knotted netting um, it, it hurts the, the salmon, it wrecks their fins. So I got a knotless mesh. This is a snowby uh, mesh. Fitted perfectly on my on my guy net. Um, so I got that separately, got that online. It's great stuff, you can see. So, it's, you know, it's kind of important to protect the fish from harm and everything. So knotless net is the way to go. Um, so yeah, that's the landing net. I would not be without it. Uh, now, the second part we're going to talk about here is my f fly rod. Um, I really do like the, um, the switch rods because you can cast these all day long and you're not going to do your back in or your shoulder or whatever like that. It's nice, lightweight. The one I use is a 10 foot 6, 8, 9 weight and um, I've caught, you know, double figure fish in this up to 16 pound. It's a really good sturdy rod. Um, you know, I can do all my snap tea casting and spade casting with this quite easily. So that's my switch rod. Um, let's go down here. Uh, that's our salmon license. In Ireland, you need a salmon license with uh, gill tags. So have that on you all the time. Uh, over here, we have eye protection. Um, here we have my tippet material, so I don't go anything less than 15 pound when I'm after salmon. Um, you can use fluorocarbon or you can use mono, doesn't really matter, okay, but the break and strain, I wouldn't go any less than 15 pound. So there's that. Uh, of course, box of salmon flies, we never have enough flies, um, I have a nice selection in here. The rule of thumb I use when I'm salmon fishing on the fly is higher water, bigger flies, lower water, smaller flies. And that seems to work pretty well. And another thing I use when I'm salmon fishing is forceps. And uh, the salmon have very hard jaws. And sometimes it can be very hard to get the barbed hook out uh, with just your fingers. So just to turn with the, the forceps and the hook is out. So I'd always carry a forceps with me. Ah, what else have we got here now? So I carry these in my waders as well, okay? This is a little line pouch. And in here I'd have my um, sinking tips. You know, I have different um, different rates of sinking tips. Depends on the situation on the river. You know, if I'm in um, like a very deep pool, I'll be using a very fast sink tip. On, on shallower pools, I'll be using... Um, a slower sinking tip. So this is handy, it's a little wallet, it has all the little bits and pieces I need in it and I carry that with me. Now uh, coming along to the fly reel, this is my Harley Marquee number two fly reel. You've probably seen it in a lot of my videos. I'm mad about this reel. It's a really really good reel. It's sturdy. It's bomb proof nearly, you know. Um, it does the trick nicely. It's Pam Paul. So you're slowing the line down with the palm of your hand. 
and it has that lovely click that lovely hardy click so that's the hardy marquee number two and it goes really nicely on my switch rod so that's the reel um, so on the reel then I have a I have a line okay it's um, the first part of it is like a floating line and then that's built into a, an intermediate sink line then and it's tapered out as well um, so in the front it's kind of like a shooting head so I can really get that nice distance when I'm casting and then on the end of that I have a sinking tip so I'll just show you there this sinking tip so what I've done here okay is I've put on a little three millimeter um, steel ring on the end of my um, on the end of my main line and then what I do then is I connect up my my sinking line onto the end of that and that works out pretty well that nice connection there it's a good smooth connection and we'll just go here to the end of my sinking tip and I have another little steel ring here okay uh, what I have on the end of that then is my tippet now it's really important to point out on the tippet area okay that you don't need a very long tippet when you're salmon fishing on a sinking tip the most you'll go would be probably be about three feet because if you go any further than that you're not going to get the benefit of that sinking line of that sinking tip you want to go you want to have a short tippet on the end of that to get that fly right down to where the fish are so that's a little pointer I'd like to make out to you so yeah that's pretty much it um, that's my gear for salmon fishing um, it looks like a lot there now you know but it's not really you know when you have the rod in your hands and you have the guy net in your back and and the fly box in your pocket you know it's quite it's a nice setup you can travel light that's the main thing I think with salmon fishing because you're you're going through the pools and you want to travel light you don't want to be lugging bags around or anything like that um, so yeah that is my salmon fishing setup I really hope you've uh, found this video helpful and um, thanks for watching <laughs>